What's up, everybody? Welcome to the EA Shooting Bar in Kichijoji, Tokyo. What we got here is a buckwild bar where you can shoot off a shitload of air guns and pound some crazy-ass booze. It ain't your grandma's shooting bar, let's just put it that way. So you best buckle up and get mentally prepared because shit's about to get crazy up in here. What's up everybody? Dustin here from Solo Travel Blog. I'm here with two badass travelers. We got Andy. How are you doing, Andy? I'm very well, thank you. And Dean, how are you doing? Borderline aroused. We're about to check out the EA Shooting Bar in Kichijoji, Tokyo. So we boosted on toward the entranceway and I saw a gun encased in glass. Seemed pretty nice and whoa, check out this sign, baby. We got us some nice fucking snakes on that sign. So we waltzed on inside the joint and the first thing we saw was a shitload of guns hanging around the place. Now I wasn't exactly sure what was going on with this place but I had a funny feeling deep in my heart that this place right here had the potential for a life changing meetup. I mean this place has so many guns it'll make your head spin, might even make your dick spin, it's just that fucking good. Now, mind you, I'm not exactly the world's biggest gun enthusiast, but any bar where you can pound booze and blast bullets is alright in my book. I mean, do you actually see what I'm seeing right now? Because there's a whole lot of pistols adorning this wall and I think it's real nice. Anyway, we got two menus in this place. We got a booze menu and a gun menu and right about now, Andy's checking out this firearm action. I took a glance myself and first up, there's a plethora of pistols in this bad boy. Nice, something about seeing this wide array of guns makes me want to blast something to smithereens over here. I can feel my inner American spirit coming to the forefront and I think it feels real nice. You might even say I feel borderline aroused. Now here we got another customer shooting off a pistol. Seemed pretty nice, but we were interested in something with a little more firepower, can you blame us? So we started checking out the assault rifle section of the menu, seemed pretty buck wild if you ask me. I mean clearly we got a wide variety of guns in here, we got an M14 and check this out, we got some special ops action. I thought this would be a nice opportunity for us to work on our marksmanship skills in case that Fukushima induced zombie apocalypse ever goes down. Now before diving into the gun action, we figured we'd best be getting ourselves some drinks to get some inebriation popping off. After all, when you come to a gun bar, you can't be shooting sober, that's what I always say. So Andy and I got beers, but Dean got one of the gun themed cocktails and that thing was served up like a blazing inferno. That thing was looking pretty intense and I was feeling amped up to shoot a gun so I started pounding a beer to take the edge off. Now the second that alcohol hit my bloodstream, I was getting in the mood and I was feeling the motherfucking groove, baby. Gotta make sure you show that bloodstream who's boss. So after we polished off those puppies, it was time to shoot off some guns and first on deck was a dog. Now I'm not exactly sure what he's shooting off here, but it seems to be a SEAL recon rifle. Whatever the case, I think it's safe to say he's shooting that target like a wild man possessed. Next on deck was yours truly. We're gonna do this baby, no more fucking around, right? Gotta get serious here. <laughs> Kill the motherfuckers. Show those mofos who's boss. So I chose the AK-47 and it took me a little while to figure out how to jam that cartridge in and shoot that bad boy. Hey, what can I say? I ain't perfect, sweet cheeks. Lucky for me, the gun maestro started giving me some top-notch pointers and truth be told, I think I'm worth it. Now after I internalized that advice, I started shooting off that gun like a seasoned pro. Only problem was there wasn't any recoil on that gun. I might as well have been fucking air over here cause I was shooting that thing off in an automatic stream and I could barely feel any feedback from that gun. Nevertheless, that was a pretty nice shooting experience right there, dare I say, a decent shooting experience. My life has been changed, presumably for the better. Next on deck was Crafty Dino, he started shooting off his AK-47 like a mad mobster on a mission. 
Now after he shot off that first magazine, Dean had a nice fucking victory dance going down, and I think it's safe to say it ain't his first time to the rodeo. After that, it was the next magazine on deck, and Dean started shooting that thing one arm style. I think it's safe to say that Dean is not only a life taker, but also a heartbreaker. That's definitely some Jozu as fuck marksmanship as well. Long story short, that was a pretty buck wild shooting bar and it was an experience we won't soon forget. So after we got all that shooting out of our system, we boosted on out of that shooting bar and cruised on over to the ghost izakaya which was nearby. I mean, it was literally like five minutes away. If you're gonna come out all the way to Kichi Joji, you might as well hit up the ghost bar while you're at it, baby. Now, in case you haven't checked out my ghost bar video, you best be checking it out. Hell, you might want to check out my Akihabara tour with Dark Cell while you're at it. I've got those links in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.